Plaster, actually Plaster, you know, marketing major, conversation, all that. Yeah, what's your name? Every day. Every day. You know, I, uh, you know, I feel it's like when I pick in the car with me, you know, One day, and, like, Bible day. Just work, do you share with you? Like, we are a coffee major, came out here and talked about it. Yeah. As long as they have a side of it. Then his volume needs to stay on the side. Okay, wait, well, you can take it from my major, but I'm just told, as long as he's on the side, I'm just telling him. As long as he's physical on the sidewalk, he has the right to be there. But I'm the, like, I'm the like code. Kid, okay, I know what I'm telling Why don't you guys go talk to him? Okay, I talk to him here, so if you got a problem with him, talk to my six thousand dollars. You're going to tell them where they have to talk. You're going to shriek him all this hateful back. Okay. Hey, uh, sir. Stay up here on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like their shout at you now. He's just it. shouting at everybody. He's it. evil. Oh my God. I'm a Christian. You give Christianity a bad name. Do you have sin in your life? Have a Do you have sin in your life? Everyone has sin. But I guarantee you, you give us a bad name. Everyone, you have more sin in your life than I have. There's all of them. Right I see a lot of people going to hell. I don't like. I don't want that. So I'm saying, don't go to hell. The Bible says that the greatest love is just to lay down for you. This is greatest love. I want the greatest love. I'm going to be clean. What's up, Frenchie, sir? The Bible says, you're not trying to fix it. I'm going to be clean, sir. And you're going to be clean. I'm going to be clean. Godliness. The Bible says God has wrath. Homosexuality is an abomination. You're an abomination to God. You need to be purified. Hold on. 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 They love each other, but they love each other. You know, don't you believe homosexual sex is a choice? Yes. Oh, so is so so you choose to be, you choose to have sex, you choose to do all sorts of wicked, perverted so things. It's a choice. You gotta explain to me. If you are born and grow up and just like the same sex, that's your fault. When was the day that you chose to be straight? No, I, I, I was, I was born normal. I didn't choose. Oh, okay. To be But somewhere now, I mean, we're not normal. What is normal? It's not normal. normal. It's, 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 it's <laughs> not as such a twig and file. The Bible says it's, it's un. Yeah, you're going to hell. I don't believe in hell. So tell me what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hell. So not. You're going to believe in hell when God sends you there. Your self. But just like fornicators, homosexuals indulge themselves. Hey, they feel like having sex with, with the same sex, so they do it. It's just living like an animal, living like a beast in the world. I'm an animal, I'm a beast. No, you're more than that, but you're living like an animal. Well, you're living by your emotions. You live by your emotions. Hold on, did you get these 19th something like that? It does say that man and animal are no different. They are the same. Well, it says they both die. I was just reading it, please, yeah. It says, Rich, I was reading poor, it well. animal, or not. We all have one end. We're all going to die. So, so he said, all is vanity. But we were made in God's image. So we shouldn't just live like the animals. We ought to live like God does. We ought to use our free will to be loving and not selfish, like God does. That's what we ought to be like. Our moral character needs to be like God. And God is not a homosexual. You don't know. You think so? Are you afraid? Are you are you afraid of hell right now? No. Are you afraid of hell right now? You? 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 No. I don't believe it. None of us no. are. This is talking bullshit. It's a lie. <laughs> you know, this is just like the days of Noah. You guys, 
sincere heart, and you want to know the truth, and you want to know God, God's not going to withhold Himself from you. God will come to you. God will reveal Himself to you. But God will be a dictator. God will tell you how to think. God will tell you how to live. God will tell you how to talk. The only reason people don't want to find God is they don't want God to control their life. God knows what, what, does, what doesn't help us. So God, God is against all sin. He's against the sinning against one another. We ought to love one another. That's sin. Do you believe in abortion? Yes. But you say save the animals. Yes, I do. Kill the babies. Save the animals. Actually, like... It's our choice. It's our choice. Are, are you against capital punishment too? I just you're generalizing. You're you're over analyzing everything. You're taking what did I do every, that? No, you're taking everything that you can and throwing it like fucking dark just to get the fucking bait. It's ridiculous. Here it is. Save the animals. Yes. Oh, yes. What is wrong with that? Make a difference. the McDonald's. No more Big Macs. No more double cheeseburgers from the dollar menu. Look at these animals. They're being killed. Evolution. Survival of the fittest. It's not survival. Hey, we gotta eat to live. <laughs> gotta kill the eat. Eat. There's I'm fucking moving, vegetables in the ground. Meat. Have you ever heard about the Daniel fast? Ever heard about that? God told Daniel to fast. And he did. God also told Noah that they could eat the animals. That's what happened to unicorns. But you guys, right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Right, that's why we're not here. Anymore. I mean, this girl, this girl says save the animals, but abortion's okay. Yeah. Kill the babies, Let save the piglets. Don't you see a problem with that? Because you never have to there's no justification for abortion. It's never okay to kill babies, you bunch of Nazis. It's never okay to kill babies. Okay, hold on, hold on, I have another thing. I'm Jewish. How am I a Nazi? How am I not Nazi? You believe in abortion? You're worse than Hitler if you believe in abortion. Abortion is an American holocaust. That's what fucking Hillary Clinton says. There's been more than six million Jews. All human lives. You know how You know you have killed more babies than Hitler killed Jews through abortion. A million and a half babies a year. And abortion's been legal since what the 60s. 
a million and a half abortions a year. Uh, abortion is the American Holocaust. If you believe in abortion, no, the American Holocaust. If you believe in abortion, you're a Nazi. If you believe in abortion, you're a Nazi. You're a sicko. You think it's okay?